Number 50. The following quantities were reported on the labels of commercial products. Determine the number of significant figures in each. Okay, so if you're new, go back to number 48 and 49 because we did sig figs for that. So that's going to be the more in-depth version of how to find sig figs. With this one, since we've already done two problems, we're just going to go at it, you know, at a much faster pace. So with that in mind, if you haven't, if you're new to sig figs, go back to the last two questions to kind of like, you know, sum everything up. But for right now, I'm just going to label A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Okay, so through A through H, we just got to figure out how many significant figures there are. And just know that significant figures, another way to say them is sig figs. So I'm probably going to say sig figs because I've been saying that forever now. So it's just easier for me to say sig figs instead of significant figures, but they mean exactly the same thing. All right, so for letter A, let's get to it. 0 0.0055 grams. So the first rule of thumb is all non-zeros, which are numbers 1 through 9, are significant, meaning that they count. So here I have a 5 and a 5, so they will always count. Now I have my zero, so I got to worry about them. Now I have these three zeros, and what do we know these three zeros as? Are they in the front, the middle of the number, or at the end? These are at the front, right? They're not in between a number, let's just say if I had like a three here, then they would be in the middle. But they're right up front and center, so these are front zeros, but the better term for it are called leading zeros. They lead the pack. So that's rule number two. LZ, leading zeros, never count. So never, 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 never. They never count. So X, X, and X, they do not count. So how many significant figures, how many sig figs are here? Well, just the five and the five. So you would have two sig figs for letter A, and that gets rid of A. B, 12 tablets. Well, we just care about the number, so here it's literally just a 1 and a 2. They're both non-zeros, so they both count. No zeros to worry about, so this one would have two sig figs. That gets rid of B. C is 3% hydrogen peroxide. There's only one number, right? It's just a three. And three is a non-zero, so that counts every single time. And that's the only number, so it would be one sig fig, one scientific figure. So that gets rid of C. D, 5.5 .5 ounces, O-U-N-C-E-S. But still, 5.5, .5, it's a five and a five. They're both non-zeros, so they will count every single time. There's only two numbers here, so... You have two sig figs. That gets rid of D. E, 473 mils. So I got three numbers, four, seven, and three. They're all non-zeros. Check, check, and check. So there would be three sig figs for this one. F, 1.75% bismuth. Who can tell me what bismuth is on the periodic table? Bismuth is an element. It is B, I. But we just care about sig figs here. <laughs> so we have one, seven, and five. They're all non-zero, so they all check out. There's only three numbers, so three sig figs. You're probably saying, why is this so easy? I don't know. <laughs> Next one, G. 0.001% phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid, don't worry about not knowing what it is now. Just know that it's H3PO4. Now here we have a mix. They mix it up a little bit. We got a 1 here, so this checks out. But what's going on with these zeros in the beginning? Oh, they're front zeros, right? They're in the front. So these are your leaders of the pack. These are leading zeros. And leading zeros never count. 
So you could put X's right all through these. They never count. So there's literally only one sig fig for this one because those zeros don't count. Last but not least, H, 99.80% percent inert ingredients. So let's see, I got a 9, 9, and an 8. There's a decimal here. So these all count because they're all non-zeros. But now let's just look at this zero in the back here. In the back, right? Because I just said it. But you can see that they're in the back, right? The back zeros are called trailing zeros. These trail behind. So I will say TZ. Trailing zeros only count COU and T if there is a decimal. If you do not see a decimal, they do not count. Was there a decimal in this question? Yes, it was. It was 99.80. So this zero checks out because there's a decimal there. So how many sig figs? One, two, three, and four. So four sig figs. And that's the end for this one. All right, guys. Hope this helped. We did. If you, if you guys do need more sig fig pra practice problems, go back to number 59 and 48. I think it's like A through F. And I'm there right along with you guys if you, if you want to get the rundown on that as well. Thanks for coming here. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are learning a lot. If you are, click that subscribe button. Show us that you guys are learning. And I will see you all in the next question. Have a great day, guys.